Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you another video and that is the walkthrough for the Lenovo A1000. Now this does have a little bit of a different interface and uh, some of an interesting uh, design to it. And it really is different from regular Android and I myself had trouble um, doing a couple of things. So I wanted to give a walkthrough through it to figure out how to use this. So first thing you'll notice is Lenovo has these specialty widgets, uh, which are interesting. Some of them are very basic, like the calendar, and if you tap it, you get like a little view of it, and then you can even see anything you have like scheduled uh, on those days, and you can go to the next one, it seems like, if you swipe over. So interesting uh, for that. For the weather, um, again, you just have kind of like a couple day forecast right there. And then you have these, uh, and then you have the memo too, which you can kind of read right there if you uh, type something in. And then you have these little folders, uh, which you can add to, add any app you want to, and then edit by actually kind of uh, basically taking these away. Now I don't mind this interface, really that's um, not too bad, uh, but one thing I do that has really annoyed me is um, I'm so used to just holding down an app and then dragging it up to the top. However, you cannot do that with this uh, tablet. Now, arguably this can be uh, easier once you get used to it, but as you see, once you highlight something, you go into what it calls edit mode. And in edit mode, you can delete any um, app from the main screen. But that is something specific to Lenovo. No other tablet does specifically that. So this is a unique interface that Lenovo does. Another thing that Lenovo does is uh, when you hit menu, uh, on the bottom here you have a couple of different things. One of them is manage apps, so you can actually uh, go right into your apps and actually remove any apps. So kind of like a quick uninstall uh, for your app, so that is one thing uh, that is useful. Uh, preferences is kind of interesting. Preferences, um, normally this wallpaper slide is taken off and the animation is, you know, oh, it's still on even though if I have it off. But um, the idea behind the wallpaper slide is that basically you get an effect when scrolling. So um, the idea behind it is that you can actually change how it is. So you can have it at uh, default, which is what it comes with out of the box, which is, you know, just kind of like a slide through. And then you can basically change it uh, to whatever else you want. So a couple of OS's, or sorry, a couple of interfaces rather, uh, do do this and they can be very different. So I'm just gonna hit random to see which one it gives me. And so you can see it can change actually with each page. Um, and that's kind of interesting. I myself uh, like the uh, rotate one the best. It just seems the most fluid and natural to me out of the preferences that Lenovo gives me. So I choose that one. Then you have the system settings, which is your regular settings uh, menu, which we'll go over in a second because Lenovo did change a few things there. Then you have add capacity, so it just basically means add apps to the uh, area. If it, you have air, if you have room on there and again one thing I just as soon as I touch I want to move it up but I have to hit delete here and then it'll uh, be removed from the main screen now uh, the last part that it has is something interesting and that is the one touch cleaner now the thing I wish it kind of gave you a um, confirmation because when you did one touch cleaner it, oh, or it does give you a one touch. It didn't do that before, but I did just install an update, so I guess that's one thing they added to it. Uh, but what the one touch cleaner does, it clears all things on the current screen, and then when you hit OK, that screen is now gone. Uh, so I guess it's cool if you want to uh, quickly wipe out a screen, but how often do you regularly do that? I mean, it might just be useful when you first use it, uh, but after that, not really, because if you want to get this thing away, that would be it. Um, now another section is here in your app drawer. So in your app drawer when you hit the menu um, you have the same kind of things um, and you have personal settings. So in personal settings 
you can uh, change how the backgrounds look, which are kind of interesting. You can basically make all of your apps have like a little background on it. So if you wanted it to have like this kind of effect and you hit done, it's changing the app icon style. Um, I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, it's definitely different. Um, it changes the look of, um, of your apps. I just don't know if everyone would really like this or, I mean, it's cool, definitely. I mean, it's, it's something extra that Lenovo brings to the table that uh, is definitely unique, you could say. All of your apps can um, have some type of uh, look to it. Uh, and then you can hit OK, and then your apps will all have their name in front of it. But this name is just what Leap had. So it's not actually like the name of the app, which would be a lot better. But yeah, so it's an interesting uh, thing that it allows you to do. You can just clear it, and then your apps will go back to normal. And there they are. Um, also here though, you can change the text style in terms of color. You can make the text size bigger, smaller, normal. You can um, do a lot of different things. This. You can make different folders, uh, different styles comparing to the regular one, to the Lenovo one, which is kind of like a four square one. So it's really up to you how uh, you want to kind of mess around with that. If you hit the edit section here, you can move um, apps around. The one thing that I wish that you could be able to do, however, is um, basically when you're in that mode to kind of be able to uh, move them in alphabetical order. That's something that I always like to have. And if you download a new app though, it'll immediately just, it won't allow you to make it in alphabetic order, you actually have to move it manually over. So that's just one thing um, that I thought could use some improvement. Um, however, in system settings, let's go over what they change here. So in system settings, you have uh, audio profiles, uh, which allow you to just basically make it general, silent, meeting, and outdoor. I find this more useful on a phone. Um, I remember when I used uh, Alcatel phones, it had the same kind of thing where you can actually change uh, these four preferences. Um, and on this one, you can't. This is a very reflective screen. Sorry about that. I didn't realize how reflective it was. Um, the other thing is you can change, it does have uh, Adobe Digital, which you can change. You can't change uh, the equalizer setting unless you have headphones in, then you can change it. Otherwise, you can just have it set to music or movies for like the speaker equalizer, but that's about um, it. Um, and you can change the room as well, but only with headphones. So what does the, uh, what, I don't see the point of that really. Um, other than that, the other section that is uh, changed is two other things. One, Developer options are very limited of this, and there's no way to unlock more developer options. Normally I have a huge section of developer options. Uh, Lenovo took them all away, basically, which I don't like because I like to speed up my animations because these animations to me are very slow. Um, and the last thing Lenovo did was schedule uh, power on and off. So this is kind of an interesting concept. You can actually turn it on at a certain time and turn it off at a certain time. It's interesting. Um, I, I kind of like that, that, that way it just automatically sets it on and off. Um, and I like the fact that it will turn on in the morning, say if I wanted to set an alarm, I think that's a really nice uh, touch, um, especially for a tablet, I would say it's um, really nice. So yeah, uh, that's a brief walkthrough of the Lenovo features uh, for the A1000. If you have any questions on this one, uh, feel free to ask. This has been RZKY, the Android guy.